Hello and welcome back to Rosie Sews Modern Vintage. I'm Rosie and it's really lovely to have you here today. Now I have been really busy over the last few weeks making a lot of jersey tops and also a couple of pinafore dresses and they are all Jennifer Lauren handmade patterns. So I thought I would do one vlog to show you all of them and how I mix and match them with my uh, capsule wardrobe that I'm making. So stay tuned. I have made is the Jennifer Lauren gable top. Now if you've watched any of my vlogs or seen me on Instagram you will know that I absolutely love this pattern. <laughs> so much so that I have now made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight gable tops. So I'll show you them one at a time and I'll also talk about how I mix and match them with my other garments. Now the first one that I made, this was last year now, it was my first go at the garment and I was having a little bit of trouble with my sewing machine sewing jersey so it's not the best but it's in this really lovely red stripy fabric which I got from it was gifted to me by Lubadoo Fabrics which is now the maker's merchant uh, it was really kind of her to send this to me it's a really nice weight cotton jersey and it's just perfect for this top but I because it was my first time using the pattern I was a bit confused by the neck and how to make the neck lay flat and where to fold it as well because it's a little bit tricky to try and work that out so on my first one I actually cut down the fabric and then just did as you can see just like a, a small fold over just a little hem there um in fact I think I did a double turn on that yeah I did so that was how I did my first one and then I acquired some more red stripy jersey which this one was from this is a cotton jersey again but this one was from pound a meter so it's quite a lot thinner um, but I really like it and I like this one because it's wider red than white so that's quite nice and those two tops they go with absolutely loads in my wardrobe um, I'll pick out one particular thing that I've worn them with. This is my wardrobe of dreams. I have worn them a lot with this dress, which is the Cassie dress. Oops, one of the sleeves is in there. Which you will have seen on my feed quite a lot. It's the one with the lovely bobble trim sleeves. And this, this is by Emporia Patterns and the fabric is from Minerva. I absolutely love wearing this with my red stripy tops underneath. It's a really nice um, combination, I think. And then I took a little break from the gable top for a while. At that point, I wasn't absolutely madly in love with it because I was having trouble with the neck. But I decided to persevere and I had seen on a lot of people's um, Instagram feeds rainbow patterned jersey tops. And I just absolutely loved them, particularly because I wanted to make a few pinafore dresses and they looked so nice with the pinafore dresses. So I found this absolutely gorgeous rainbow fabric from Lily and Mimi Fabric Shop, which is an online store. So I purchased that and then, of course, I needed to decide on the pattern. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give the gable top another go and I'm going to try and work out what to do at the neck. So I very carefully read the instructions and I realised that what I'd been doing wrong was just trying to fold it straight across at the top. Actually, what you need to do is you need to pull the fabric down as low as you want the front piece to be. So if you can see on this one, it's very hard to see because the stitching's in red, but as you can see, the stitching actually goes down deeper as you come around. And that way you can do it exactly the right height your neckline I absolutely love how high the neckline is so yes yeah, so I made this one and obviously I had to do a lot of pattern matching with this because of the stripes so at the side you can see how well my pattern striping went I was super super chuffed with that um, it took a lot of pinning and I also did basting stitches to keep them together and it was successful it worked really well 
and the bit I'm particularly pleased about is here on the top when the two neck pieces join on the shoulder and the green just matches up I'm so pleased about that and I finished it off with a cute as a daisy label from jo uh, Paige Joanna I really love her labels they aren't the cheapest you get six for seven pound fifty but I think they are so lovely and I just want to sew them in all my clothes because they make me really happy so this was my rainbow top and my favorite thing to wear it with is my um hacked pinafore dress which is the uh, it's in den stretch denim and it's the madeline skirt by victory patterns with the jenny overalls bib pop a picture here of me wearing it as you can see they go really well together lovely and bright super fun um and but still kind of grown up as well i, I like that sort of combination so yeah that was my rainbow gable top the next one I did was from some fabric that I purchased from Felicity Fabrics in their Black Friday sale and it was this beautiful floral and by this time I'd started to work out how to do the neckline on my gable top and so I was getting to the point where if I got them cut out I could get a gable top sewn up in kind of an hour. I'm not the fastest stitcher but I was quite pleased with an hour and I've got another jo uh, Paige Joanna label there which is so lovely that is my floral one and I can wear this again with lots of different things it goes with um, all my pinafore dresses I've now got a red and a yellow um, Jennifer Lauren Pippi pinafore and also my denim um, hacked pinafore I'll show you a picture of my yellow pinafore because I have it it's in the wash at the moment <laughs> so I'll show you a picture of that but because this fabric has all the yellows and the reds and the navy blue it goes with all three which is really great um now one of my kind of style influences is angel strawbridge from escape to the chateau i don't know if you watch that program but i love that program so much um it's like an hour of paradise to me when i get to watch an episode and i noticed that she'd been wearing I really liked how she was wearing her vintage high waist jeans with a striped top and a neck scarf. I love that kind of look, but for some reason I'd kind of forgotten <laughs> and I wasn't wearing it. And, I, and it, so it reminded me and I realised how much I loved it and how I needed some more striped tops in my life. So I had my red stripy top, so I thought my jeans are navy blue, so let's go for some navy blue. So this one from Minerva this is uh, again a cotton jersey from Minerva I think it's 13.99 a meter I'll have to um I've got a little mark on that one I'll have to check the price but I think it's 13.99 and I got this out of 1.4 meters what I would say about the gable top is it's very long so it comes down to kind of lower hip so you could shorten that and also shorten I do a three-quarter sleeve um, so you could shorten it to like elbow length and you could probably, if you did those two things, you could probably get it out of a metre. Um, but I like it being a bit longer and I like having the sleeves past my elbow. So this was my navy and light blue um, striped gable top. Now these stripes, because they're thin, it was pretty impossible to baste them together to make them match. But I think actually overall you don't really notice because the stripes are so thin. And then to go with my set of stripy tops as well, I bought the pink and red version of this cotton jersey. Again, 1.4 metres got me um, the top at full length and a three quarter sleeve. And then my final one, which I posted on Instagram a couple of times, is this amazing cherry print. Isn't this the cutest? Navy blue stripes with red cherries super super cute and this is from planet make it which is a new company that i'd not i don't think they're actually that new but new to me um, who i'd not seen before on instagram and somebody recommended them because they were having a 30 percent off sale at the end of the year and i'm so glad they did because i've been wanting a cherry print jersey and haven't really found one that i liked and when i saw this one i just knew 
but this one had to be bought. So that was my final gable top. So that's all my gable tops that I've shown you, including this pink and red striped one. This, I think, I think it might be my favourite because I absolutely love pink and red together. It's just, it's kind of naughty, isn't it? Putting those two clashing colours together because they clash, it kind of doesn't seem right, but actually it looks really good. Uh, so I've gone for all the clashing pinks and reds, got my pink brooch and on my uh, Pippi Pinafore, I've used 1940s pink buttons to go on it, just as that, to sort of emphasise that clash. And I've also got pink lining. <laughs> it's hard to show you when I'm wearing it. Um, so I'll show you a picture here of me full length wearing the Pippi Pinafore in red. And so I just wanted to show you a few other things that I have made and things that I will mix and match with them. So for instance, this, which you will have seen before, which was my, um, it was for a Felicity Fabrics blog. It's a, um, <laughs> a Madeline skirt from Victory Patterns in this gorgeous blue chambray with red hearts on it. And I think wearing it with this pink and red stripe is gonna be amazing. I also think, with this one it will be really cool and also with all the other stripy ones as well really but I just think it's a really nice fun combination to clash those colours and prints and what I'm liking about this is that although I made it in the summer it's actually brilliant for the autumn winter as well because I can put thick tights and um, you know one of my three-quarter sleeve tops and a cardigan over the top a pair of boots and it's still winter ready so it's perfect really for every season and then the final thing that I wanted to show you is the uh, cord trousers, which the Eve pants by Merchant and Mills, which I showed you in my last vlog. And again, these are brilliant for mixing and matching with all of my tops that I've shown you. So finally, I just wanted to talk about the Pippi Pinafore. Um, I've shown you a couple of pictures of me wearing my two, yeah, my yellow one and my red one. And I wanted to talk about what I thought of that as well, because um, I do think that Jennifer Lauren writes really good instructions for her patterns. They're not so patronising that you have the kind of unnecessary details that mean that you you skip a few steps and then miss something important because you're so busy ignoring all of the unnecessary details, if that makes sense. Um, so I feel like her instructions are just perfect. Um, they're a really good balance of giving you enough information, but not too much that it's overwhelming. Um, and I also like it because her patterns are, can, they sort of allow you to interpret it in your own way. So for instance, the bibs um, come with the full bust adjustments already done. And I found that I, because I'm a, really I'm a B cup, um, but I'm a wide measurement around my bust because I, I'm sort of bigger at, under my arm and on my back. So I could do, what I did was that even though I measured at like a size 22D, I actually did a size 18 C cup. And then that was just the right size for me. Because I find if I do the, the pin of four bib too big, then it tends to bunch up like that, where the straps sit, naturally want to sit. So I was able to do my 18 bib, and then I did 20 waist, uh, no, 22 waist and then 20 hip. And it's perfect for me. Um, I lengthened the skirt by four inches because I like things to be below my knee and I was able to do all of those adjustments really easily with her pattern, absolutely no problem at all. And now I just want all the pinafore dresses. <laughs> As you know, I really love to wear all my badges on them and I just think pinafore dresses are a really nice way of expressing your style, um, really nice way to combine different colours and prints and fabrics, um, but still feel like you're Kind of you've made an effort but you're not so dressed up that you feel overdressed in certain situations so I love pinafore dresses for that and although I do wear my jeans I've got a lovely pair of vintage jeans that I showed you in my last vlog from Collective um I just love a skirt and I love a dress so for me it's perfect combination following on from all my Jennifer Lauren uh garments that I made I wanted to show you two more things that I've made which still fit into my capsule wardrobe but aren't 
get a blogger. <laughs> and the first thing is some absolutely beautiful fabric that I was gifted by Felicity Fabrics for my next blog post. It's this gorgeous sparkle sweater knit. And I originally thought I was going to make a circle skirt, but I realised that that would have taken like three and a half metres of fabric, which is ridiculous. And so I ordered two and a half metres and I decided to do an A-line maxi skirt back in the 90s. I hate to say that, I sound like an old lady, but I suppose I am, so there we go. <laughs> uh, back in the 90s, I wore a really beautiful set from Monsoon, which was a knitted A-line maxi skirt in dark bottle green and a matching top. And I just felt like I wanted to make something similar with this. So I'll pop a picture up now of me wearing it. And you can see that I'm wearing it with this which is if you saw my haul vlog that i posted recently this was the um raspberry red sparkle knit that i purchased from felicity fabrics and this is a remnant of the viscose twill that was also gifted by felicity's um which i made this juliet top with which i would have shown you in my capsule wardrobe vlog so again, this is a nice scarf that will mix and match with lots of my garments in my capsule. Um, yeah, so that's the top. Now this is a Nora, Tilly and the Buttons Nora. And I sized down on this because I wanted it to be a bit a bit more fitted than, than the uh, very loose fitting um, design that it is. And when I put it on, it really does remind me of my jumper and skirt from Monsoon back in the 90s so I was absolutely thrilled and I really think that these two sparkles sparky knits both go re together really well um so yeah I was going to tell you how I made the skirt it's ever so quick I'm just going to shut this door um now I didn't have a knit skirt pattern so what I decided to do was take an a-line skirt that I already had a pattern an a-line pattern that I already had that was for wovens and just size down and one that I have made before is the Freya skirt and pinafore dress pattern I'll pop a picture here and what I liked about that one is that it doesn't have any darts so it was going to be perfect for a knit fabric and I just all I did was I just size down a couple of sizes trace the shape and then just lengthened it to maxi length. So I cut, you know how you have a lengthened line in the pattern. So I just cut there and added, I think I added about 10 inches, I think quite a lot so I could get my maxi length um, and traced it out and there was my pattern. And then I just used a rectangular fabric as a waistband. And I'm really, really pleased with the result. The one thing I was really worried about was hemming because I did a sample hem on a piece of the, uh, now on a sample piece of this a bit left over and it wrinkled up and I thought oh no I really don't want that to happen because it's such beautiful fabric and it's, it's sort of quite a lot of money for two and a half meters it came to 50 pounds which is absolutely worth the money it's so beautiful um, but I really didn't want to ruin it <laughs> and um, Carol from Chatter Stitch on Instagram she gave me the um, suggestion of using my Swedish tracing paper, sewing over the top of that um, and then tearing it off afterwards. Do you know what? It worked absolutely blooming brilliant. So this is the hem and as you can see it's completely perfect. So thank you so much Carol for that tip and um, I'm super duper happy with the result. Now obviously these two garments are still um, in my colour scheme for my capsule wardrobe so they do mix and match with other things and in fact I've worn this skirt with this gable top and a wide belt together and that looked really nice as well so I know that I could also mix it with this t-shirt possibly even this one and a nice big wide belt and it would look really really nice so that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the clothes I've been making over the last few weeks. I will be back soon with a vlog all about 
my style inspiration. So the, people, the sort of celebrities and sewists who give me a lot of my um, sort of ideas and inspiration. In the meantime, have a lovely day and happy sewing. Bye. <laughs>